what we want to do now is address the subject of differentiation when you have multivariable functions. So for example, let's suppose we have a function f of xy equals x squared plus y squared. Now this is a uh, paraboloid. And let's suppose that we want to find a tangent, a line that is tangent to the graph at the point uh, 1, negative 1, 2. In other words, I let y be negative 1, x is 1, and then z would, of course, be 2. Let's suppose I want to find an equation for a tangent at that point. Well, here's what we could do. We could say, well, let's just suppose that y, we're not having to suppose, we're letting y equal negative 1, according to this, because we want the tangent at that point. Then we are looking at this function here. We're looking at z equals x squared plus, well, x squared minus 1. That's what we're looking at. Now, you can think about the x, z axis, and I've kind of, I've got it here. What I've done is I've, I've graphed f of x, y equals x squared plus y squared, and I've, I've cut the graph uh, with a plane, y equals negative one. So really, uh, you can think of what we're looking at is this here parabola, okay, that right there. So we've got the uh, x-axis uh, right here. Here's the x-axis. And here is the uh, z-axis up here. That's the z-axis, OK? Of course, you can see that. It's labeled and all. But so now it's just a calculus one problem. Because what we can do is we can say, well, let me find the derivative then. I can find dz dx. And that would just be 2x. See, because now we're just, we've kind of taken y out of the picture. We said y is a constant. So now we have a formula for the slope. We have a formula for the slope of that line. And at dz dt, dz t, dx at uh, x equals 1 is equal to 2. So we have a formula for the, the change in, D, in z uh, with respect to the change in x, dz dx. And whatever x is, z is twice that. Okay. Now, what we've just found there is if we look upon the, the situation overall, we've got f of xy equals x squared plus y squared. What we've just found is a partial derivative. We viewed y as a constant. In fact, we set y is equal to negative 1. So we wanted what's called the partial derivative with respect to x. And it's notated this way. Put a little x down there. f subscripted x. So this is the partial of f with respect to x. And this is just equal to 2x because we just treat y as a constant, and the derivative of a constant is 0. So we have that. Now, another way that we denote the partial derivative is we will use this little symbol here. D's, uh, the partial of z with respect to x. And that means exactly the same as this. In both cases, it's just 2x. But what we have here is a, a formula for the slope. Now, let's see if we can come up with the equation for, the, uh, for a line that's tangent at that point. Now, we'll call this line the tangent in the direction of x. And we're just, we're just looking at a projection here. So I've got this plane that has cut uh, y at negative 1. y equals negative 1. And now we're projecting that onto the uh, x, z axis. And we want to find an equation for a tangent at this point right here. Now, the, the first, so 
Remember, in three dimensions, when we talk about an equation for a line, we need a vector that's parallel to that line, and we need a point. Well, we've got the point there. The point is 1, negative 1, 2. It's right here. Now we need a vector. Well, the vector, let, let, here, here's what we have. We need a vector that goes this way. If x is 1, and we'll just make y 0, okay, and then z is twice that x, so it would be 2. So there's our vector right there. See? Because our formula says that it's 2x. dz dt. If we want a vector, we need the vector that if x is 1, z is 2. If x is 3, z is 6, and so forth. So we have a vector and we have a point. The point is a 1, negative 1, uh, 2. So now let's, let's see if we can get an equation for, for the line. It, it's going to go like this. Remember, x is equal to t plus 1. We're just getting an equation for the line. The y is equal to 0t minus 1. So it's just minus 1. And then z is equal to uh, 2t plus 2. Okay. Remember, that's how we get the equation for a line. So we can put these in, in, in parametric form and then uh, sketch them. So let's look at, let's see if we can do that here. So I've got, first of all, I've got uh, t plus 1. I've got negative 1 and then 2t plus 2. And there we have it. So there you can see we've got our tangent there. Okay. So see, we can spin this thing around. You can see the plane. Whoops, I don't want to get it spinning. You can see the plane at y equals negative 1. Uh, we've got our x-axis. We've got our y-axis. And there is the, uh, the graph. Okay. And you can see that our tangent line there is right on this uh, plane. So what we've done to find the, the slope of that is we, we did the partial. So let's see what we, what we can do with this, this idea of differentiation, partial differentiation. So let's suppose that we have a function f of xy equals x squared y to the third plus 2x plus y to the seventh. Let's just suppose we have something like that. And we want to find the derivative. dz, the partial of z with respect to x. So here's what we do. We simply view y as just a constant. We treat it that way. So x squared y cubed, that's the same as like 2x squared or 3x squared. That y is just a constant standing there. So what we have now is we have 2x y cubed. The y is just behaving like a constant. Then we have plus 2. And then the y to the seventh, uh-uh. It's, uh, it's just a constant. So the derivative is 0. Now here's the thing. We can take a derivative of that. Now remember, this uh, notation here is just, uh, it's just this. It's a uh, little subscript. So we have two things. We have dz, partial z with respect to x and f with a little subscripted x. Now, we can do this. I can say, well, I want to take uh, uh, another derivative of this. Okay. In other words, I want to take the partial with respect to x of this thing right there. I want to take another derivative. So let's see what that would look like. The notation for this is going to look like this. Okay. Which course, we could write this intuitively. You can say, well, I might as well write this this way. Okay. Now, 
if we use this notation, that would be f little two x's down here. Okay, so let's see what this is going to look like. We take so we're taking a derivative of this thing now. So this is going to be two y cubed, and that's it. <laughs> that that's finished. So there's the second derivative with respect to x, or the second partial with respect to x. OK, now I'm going to go back to this. I've taken the derivative with respect to x. Now let's suppose I want to take the derivative of that with respect to y. So here I go. Let me change colors here. So I'm going to take the partial with respect to y of this thing. And now, of course, that's going to look like this. Now notice I'm going right to left to see what I took the derivative of first. Now, if we use the other notation, this would be, I go left to right. I took the derivative with respect to x, and now I'm going to take it with respect to y. So important to realize that with this notation right here, we read left to right in order of the derivative that we took. We took the derivative with respect to x, and then with, with respect to y. Over here, we read right to left. I first took the derivative with respect to x, and then with respect to y. Okay, So that's important. Uh, thing to realize. So now we go back and take the derivative with respect to y of, of this thing. So this is going to be 6xy squared, and then that's it. This is the partial with respect to y. So it's the second partial, right? We took first took the partial with respect to x, and then we took the partial with respect to y, and we get this. And we've got 6xy. Okay. Now, let's, let's remember this. Let's uh, lock this in our minds. Okay. We've got this right here. So we've got f sub xy equals 6xy squared. Now, what I want to do is I want to go back up to this thing, the original. And I want to take the partial with respect to y first. Okay, so here we go. Here's the partial with respect to y. Now, this is going to be 3x squared y squared plus 7y to the 6. Whoops, y to the 6. What did I do y squared for? y to the 6. Okay. Now, let me take the partial with respect to x of this. So now I've got y, x. OK, now I'm taking the derivative with respect to x. So here we go. I've got 6x, y squared. And then the derivative of this is just 0. Now, take a moment and dig this. We've got this thing f sub y x and this thing f this thing down here f sub x y and notice they're the same this and this are the same we went in different orders we did x y and up here y x now this was not a fluke where these come out to be the same and and here's the deal if you have this function this uh, two variable function f of x y if f the first partial with respect to x, the first partial with, well, let me write it down. If all of these functions are continuous, f, fx, fy, fxy, and fyx, if all of these functions are continuous and some open interval r, if that happens, then f, xy and fyx are always going to be equal. Now, I said interval. I said continuous on interval. Forgot we're in three dimensions. So 
this is going to be region. If F, Fx, Fy, Fxy, Fyx, if all of those are continuous on some open region, then this is always true. F sub Xy is equal to F sub Yx. So the second partials are going to be the same. It doesn't matter which order.